During this lesson, we will construct basic blocks using various drafting tools. We will also demonstrate how to store the basic blocks for future use. Guidelines are used to build the basic frame for a pattern. Drag from the side ruler to draw a guideline. Select a guideline with the Control and Tab key down. Type a distance and click next to the selected line to make a parallel line. Each left click adds a point to the polyline. Use Quick Step Entry to specify either the length or the offset amount before each click. If the Shift key is down, the dragging direction is locked to a 45 degree increment. Right click to complete the polyline. Curve blending is a very powerful feature. Type BB and right click to start blending. Move one of the red cross control points to shape the curve. Here, we demonstrate how easy it is to create a curve using blending. The Polyline tool is packed with a lot of helpful features. Select and use the Delete key to remove unwanted lines. Once drafting is finished, a pattern can be traced. Now we demonstrate making the back pattern. Notice how we move a guideline by the specified distance. We copy the shoulder line with Control C and paste it with Control V. Move the line by dragging it with Control key down. The default tool supports curve blending. Just select the section and click it with BB Quick Step. All basic point manipulation is done with the control point tool. Moving a point is as easy as typing the distance and dragging it. Let's see how you can store your basic blocks in the library. Selecting with the control key down, press the delete key. Select with the control and tab key down, press the delete key. Here, we show you how easily darts can be added by using the V Quick Step. 
select the T section, type V, the dart width, and click the dart line.